Hey guys, I'm Jessica Napoli here at the Bentonville Film Festival in Arkansas, and sitting next to me is Tanya Siracho, one of the writers of How to, Get Away with, How to Get Away with Murder, and now she's working on a new show for stars. Tanya, welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. So why is it important for you to be here at the Bentonville Film Festival? Well, it's female-centered. It's a you know very woman-conscious uh, festival. I'm a woman of color, and historically in Hollywood, we haven't been included a lot of times you know so um, it's I, it was it was great when I got the invitation I always like to talk about like Latinx in the industry and stuff, so I, I carry that like a shield so I'm excited to uh, like be invited and kind of count in that way you know what's it like to be a writer um, a female writer on a show I know you are working on a show for stars right um, yeah so I, I'm creating a show for stars and right now because the stars is amazing they really they if you look at their programming historically, they have a lot of like female gaze, women-centered programming that is, but but of complicated women. So it's not like it, these are like not just heroes. They're like complicated, flawed, amazing women. And so I'm sort of crafting that on my, you know, with my show. And right now, uh, it's like mostly female, like all the characters, you know, Latina, uh, Latina millennials from like Boyle Heights, which is in East LA. So. Um, they, they've been so encouraging with that. Never, you know, maybe in other situations, in other networks, they would have kind of tried to correct that, but not at STARS. It's, I've totally been encouraged to, like, keep it female-centric. And in your opinion, right now especially, why is it so important to have strong, complicated, smart female leads? Well, we are going through a time in history, I feel like, where our... Our, our rights are being challenged and threatened, you know, so like when you have, um, you know, it just in the world. So when you have Hollywood kind of like trying to correct that or honor those like perspe female perspectives, it's like it I think it will make a difference in the large, you know, like it would affect the mainstream, hopefully, because um, there's some scary times, you know. Um, who was somebody you looked up to when you were starting out your career? And do you have any advice for young female writers out there? So I, I was obsessed with Shonda Rhimes, right? Like before I worked in Shondaland, um, and I was on the Looking Room, um, which is a show for HBO that I was writing on, and Shonda came through with her entourage and like was looking at rooms and stuff and like I got to talk to her and I remember being like one day I'm gonna get to work with her I just because she is amazing a woman of color who has done what she has done she's like a super producer also she's just her politics are amazing you know so um finally like a year later I got to work on how to get away with murder and it was like oh my god see prayer does work <laughs> well thank you so much for chatting with us and I'm excited for your new show and I can't wait to watch it when it airs I hope you get to watch it when it airs. Yeah, it, uh, the process is so, you know, it like takes forever. So, um, yeah.